Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to revisit another beautiful palette. This time it's the guest list palette from Revolution. It's from their Life on the Dance Floor collection. I have mentioned the VIP palette, which has the gold glitter lid so many times. I just love that palette. It's a real staple in my collection. This is also a favourite. It's the bright, vibrant, red, pink and peach toned palette and I just love it. I also think that the packaging really does scream quality because the lid is embossed. Yes, it's got all of that glitter, but that glitter is going nowhere. So it's not going to catch, it's not going to flake off or anything like that. And the palette seems weighty. It doesn't feel, um, you know, light and the lid is not loose. And like I say, it just feels like a very much um, quality. It's, yeah, I love it. I love, in fact, the whole collection. So you've got that beautiful glitter lid. So you expect something great inside and this palette does not disappoint. You unfortunately get one of those sheets which can't be helped because this palette is jammed packed full of beautiful shades and here it is so like i said it's very vibrant it's very rich it's a mixture of shimmers it's a um, shimmers and mattes and you also have some red tones some orange tones and you get those um you also get those peachy tones as well as well as some neutrals so i think this palette has it all and that's why i love it so much so of course i have applied some of the shadows onto this eye here what I wanted to do was focus less on the um, reds um, and feature the peachy tones uh, with a little bit of depth in the outer V. And yeah, I really, really love this look and can't wait to share that with you. Now I've used a mixture of, and I went in with this shade first of all, I then used this one here and this one here to create the depth. And then I used my absolute favorite shimmer from this palette, that one there. So I'm just going to go through the swatches of these shades, just putting my sheet back in there. So the first peach shade that I went in with is this one here. It's a matte shade, of course, and it's called Hip. I then went in with a mixture of those, that red toned brown and that deep purpley, um, <laughs> it, well, it is a brown, and those two are there. And the first one, the uh, lighter shade is called Grind, and the deeper shade, so that's Grind, that's Lose It. And this is my favorite shimmer probably from all of the palettes put together actually. I love it and it's called Spin. It's more pink in tone because I think there's that shade from um, the NARS Orgasm, that kind of, is it? I think it's a blush, isn't it? That kind of two-tone shade and it's very peachy pink, but this one is pink with a tiny little bit of um, peach reflect and I love it. Matches my top beautifully. So those are the shades that I went in with. I also want to share with you what I've got on my lips today. Again, they're from the Jouer mini collections. The first one is a matte lip called, I think it's Terra, T-E-R-R-A, and it's this shade here. I'll just swatch it on my hand. I must admit, I'm really impressed. Yesterday, I had on a matte lip, just like today, with one of their... Um, one of these lip toppers and it lasted all day. I think it was Starburst, but I put rose gold in my um, details, my description, because I couldn't find Starburst anywhere. So I went with rose gold because actually I applied rose gold and it looked even better than Stardust. So this is Terra and so that's what I've got on the base and then the uh, lip topper I went in with today is St. Tro St. Sorry, let me just say that again. St. Is it Tropez? I want to make sure. Yeah, Tropez. Tro Tropez, Tropez, sorry. Saint Tropez. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't read it there for a moment. Saint Tropez. That's it. <laughs> I've got it right in the end. 
I'm thinking, is it topaz? But it's not, it's got an R in there. So it's Saint Tropez, even I can't speak today. So there's the matte shade, there's the lip topper, and I was amazed. I had my lunch, it was still on, amazing products. Really, really love those. Um, I don't know why I've not used them before, actually, but like, like I said in yesterday's video, there has been so many new releases. And because I do videos every single day, I keep the makeup on, obviously, and wear what I've applied in that video so it's difficult to get through all of the products but I'm really pleased that I'm now sharing those with you so I actually um, received those in gift set from my family over Christmas but you can buy them in larger form um, from Beauty Bay in particular okay on with the eye look and of course I'm going to be using my uh, Primark PS all the P's there so Primark PS eye contour brush and I'm going in with hip to start with which is that beautiful peach tone there so as always I've already primed my eye and I will have a list of all the makeup down below that I'm wearing today so I'm just going to put that in the crease and I think this shade here is so beautiful for this time of year very peachy but it's got a slight pink tone to it I just love it so if you've got this palette already um, I mean that that's what really I'm hoping with this little series but perhaps it inspires you to you know pull out these palettes and this one I think you can you can you know look at it and think no you know it's more of an autumnal um, perhaps wintry um, palette but actually some of the shades in here are so spring summer inspired just beautiful I mean there's another shade in here called light up which is even more peachy than this one so yeah beautiful and you can see that it's really built up into a gorgeous tone so next i'm going to go in with grind and just deepen that up a little bit just deepen up the crease i don't want to go too far into the inner corner i want to keep that bright tone on the um, inner corner part there because it's just such a light beautiful look and then obviously all the depth is in the outer corner there also, I'm just going to bring that out a little bit, just blend it out like that. So that's looking very vibrant, but that's what we want. Then I'm going to go into Lose It Now, which is that deeper plummy brown tone. Again, on the same brush, and I'm going to just put that there like that. and just keep working it in the crease. Take that out. What I want is, I want the depth, um, but I also want that peach tone to shine through. I'm also holding the brush right at the end because it then gives me a lot more, more sorry much more goodness of a lighter touch with the brush I don't know why as soon as I get in front of the camera I just can't get my words out there we go so we're now getting that depth these shadows really do blend out absolutely beautifully love that and it's not even though I put on a really deep you know shade one of the deepest actually in the palette there's only one deeper um, called sleep and um, you know it works so well giving me the depth because I always I do like a deeper shade but I do find sometimes black overpowers the look but um, yeah not with this palette you've got that that um, you know lose it shade you've got that sleep shade if you really want it any deeper now what I'm going to do is just take the lose it shade and I'm going to run that underneath the eye I 
do tend to have a little bit of a um, stutter or stammer um, sometimes. There we go. So what I've done now is ran that underneath the eye and then just joined it up and blended it into that part there. I'm also just going to um, get a little bit of hip on my brush and then just blend that in underneath because what that will do is it will diffuse it and also add a little bit of the brightness of the peach tone up there down into the lower lash line. Now obviously if you don't want to go as deep as I have you can you know pick and choose there's lots of different shades in here to choose from but I do like a deeper outer V there it just works with my colouring. Okay so basically that is the mattes laid down perfectly I think let me just make sure I think that's all done and it's, it's difficult isn't it when you do one eye and then you're doing a second eye because what I would do in my regular makeup routine is put the peach shade on put the peach shade on and you know vice versa keep going from one eye to the other okay so that's that now what I want to do is apply that shimmer shade now what I also did was yesterday's video I had such good results with um, the spotlight eye and then adding the concealer there I did actually try and do um, a cut crease on this eye and it did work but because my eyes are um, hooded a little bit what happened was that the shimmer was so intense that it went on my um, above my crease and I had to do a lot of saving um, so I'm not going to do that it just doesn't work with my eye shape at all so I'm going to just apply a spin with my finger and this is such a beautiful shade it really is stunning actually what I'm going to do is just get my brush and I'm going to just apply it with a brush. Now I must admit I don't find many shimmers that I can apply with a brush but this one you can and I'm using it's just it's not ideal um, it's just one that I brought in um, I just wanted to test it out actually but it applies so beautifully with a brush or with a finger and that is very very rare it is just such a stunning color I'm just going to actually take that over a little bit because what I want to do is add more of that uh, lose it shade here just blend it slightly into that shimmer shade it's just stunning i'm going back to my angled brush this is actually what I've got it for and I'm going into that spin shade again and then I'm going to take the shimmer all around my inner corner I love that it's one of those shades that if they sold it as a single I would buy it um, it is just stunning then I'm just going to get my original brush and just make sure that that's all blended. We're nearly done with the eye look. Of course, I'm going to apply my liner, which is, as always, the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner. This is the only liner that works for me. I am now going to apply mascara as well which again as always is the Primark PS Amplified Mascara which I keep telling myself that I've got to get another one and 
that is the look complete. So that is me revisiting the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor guest list beautiful palette. I hope that you're enjoying the series. Your messages and your comments are telling me that you are. So um, do let me know. I've got a, a palette or two in mind for tomorrow's video. But like I said, if you have got one in mind as well that perhaps you would like me to revisit and if you know you would like to either purchase it or you know perhaps have a little bit of I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? When you have a palette, you get into a rut of perhaps choosing three or four shades from that palette. And it's actually like clothes shopping, isn't it? When you go on your own, perhaps you always stick to a certain type of clothing that you purchase. And it's not until you go with someone else that they say, actually, you know, I like this. And you think, well, actually, that's going to work for me. And it's the same, I suppose, with eyeshadows. You get into a rut of using three or four shades and then you see someone else using it and you think, I really like that. I'm going to try that myself. So like I said, I hope that, um, you know, if you have this palette, you know, you need to pull it out perhaps and, um, you know, not just save it for autumn or winter. I've created a beautiful look that matches perfectly with my top. I'm really surprised by that. Um, and yeah, if you have got any other palettes that you would like me to revisit, do let me know down below. But as always, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it. Please do subscribe to watch further videos and of course do select that notification bell um, to ensure that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload because I do upload nearly every single day, every single day at the moment. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts, uh, but yeah, until tomorrow, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, bye.